I'm about to get a reading. You guys already know that I've been busting my butt to bust the fake psychics butts because they're fake. Not all, but the tarot cards. And I just got off the phone with the psychic. Welcome to my life adventures. I'm the one and only Monica the Spirit Queen. I'm a professional psychic medium and a paranormal investigator. My crew and I lurk in the shadows at night hunting spirits and demons. I do readings, break black magic spells, travel, expose fake psychics, and have clients from around the world. I'm no nonsense when it comes to respect and honesty. I have a crazy busy life, but I love it. My family keeps me going with their love and support. I will never give up no matter what demons I have to face. Once I started getting into like more in depth of my questions, she wasn't expecting me to ask any questions. She wanted to basically tell me regular life stuff, like things that people go through on a daily basis, depression or finances or whatever, like just the basic stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I can't wait till you guys hear what happened. I'm actually excited to see what you guys think and comment and let me know then I'll come back and then we'll discuss this one by one you guys are gonna ask me why I'm doing this or what my motive is for exposing tarot card readers just to let you guys know that tarot cards are not real dad I'm sorry he's really gonna hate me now I'm sorry dad I had to kill you off again for the second third fourth fifth sixth time with the fake psychics my dad is not dead Okay, sorry about that. That's all right. Are you in a quiet, comfortable spot? Yeah, I'm in my room. Okay, and you're alone? Yes. Okay, go ahead and take a moment to concentrate on everything that you want to know and find out. Okay. Once you feel ready that you have done that, then go ahead and let me know. Can I lay down? Yes, of course. That's why I said a quiet, comfortable spot. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead and say your full name and date of birth out loud. Monica August 13, 1986. Okay, my dear, whatever I'm going to see for you, good or bad, negative or positive or indifferent, I'm going to let you know everything, okay? I ask that you come into this reading with an open mind. Okay. Okay. First of all, what I'm picking up on for you is that you're trying to appear happy. You're trying to get through each day. Like it seems like there's an immense amount of pain upon you that is making you feel a bit down, cold, unhappy. And it's resulting in causing your stress level to go up and your self-esteem to become weakened. Now, how long have you been feeling this way? Um, ever since COVID, I think everybody's been stressed out. And so I'm just trying to get back in the routine and back on track again with everything. Okay. Because it shows you've been really hard on yourself. You need to love yourself more and not be so hard on yourself, not talk down on yourself. Okay. It shows that you're definitely trying to move forward, but you take three to four steps forward, you end up taking five to seven steps back. Every time you get close to happiness, something happens and it takes it away from you. Every time you feel like you're reaching a certain level, you're getting to a certain point, and you think it's about to grow and progress, it actually reverses and diminishes, and you're having to start over each and every time. So there is lots of heaviness spiraling around you. There is lots of heaviness upon you. There's a lot of energy that has shifted around you the past six to eight years, actually, and that's before COVID. It seems like you've struggled a great deal to get to where you're at today, and you have a lot to be thankful and grateful for. However, I feel like there's still a void there. There's still a lot that's incomplete in your life, and you feel like, there's so much more that you should have been doing. It seems like you've come into the past three years with a lot of ideas and plans, but you haven't accomplished 50% of what you really wanted. Do you know, like, what kind of stuff? <clears throat> it seems like it's pertaining to you yourself in regards to your personal self and your personal growth, your personal well-being, your personal awareness. Okay. Now, work, finances, it seems like that's something also that is affecting you. What is it that you'd rather be doing? Um, that's the thing, though. Like, I had a few questions, and I was wondering if you can look into it as far as... Yes, of course. Okay. Um, well, to answer your question as far as work goes, I'm a paralegal right now. Okay. But I've been studying really hard, like, to get my, uh, pass my bar to become a criminal defense attorney. That's who I work with right now. Okay. And I wanted to know, like, 
what do you see like am i gonna get my am i gonna pass my bar like am i gonna get my license like that's always well, been a passion I see right mine. now is you the messages that need to reach you right now is that you have to set higher goals don't be afraid of risk or challenge fight for what you want because future life does look bright future life does look successful pertaining to work and finances it seems like Right now, you're struggling a bit and you're not happy, but I feel like there is a change within career. I feel like there is two bright opportunities. So, yes, you will, but you need to manifest more positivity. That's why I said don't be so hard on yourself. Believe in yourself more. Okay. Like There's speaking two bright opportunities that are going to approach you between July and September. I'm sorry, what okay. happened? There's two bright opportunities. Okay. It looks like they're positive and bright. I see light around both of them. However, I feel like the second one is a little delayed reaching you. It's still going to be between July and September. You may not want to rush into the first one because I see the second one turning out a lot more successful, a lot more financially securing for the long run. Between July and September of this year? Correct. Oh, wow. So there are some decisions that are coming upon you here soon, and you're going to have to make decisions, you know, with a new avenue, with a new direction, more open-minded, more clear-minded. Don't feel like you can't do it. Don't feel like you can't handle the stress because it's new stress, but it's learning. It's a learning experience. Right. Okay. So you have to be open to it. You have to be ready for it. Right. Okay. You mentioned something about manifesting. I don't really know how to do that or I don't, because do you see like if I'm spiritual or not? Because like, like you're people tell me, but I don't you, like really feel it. No, you are definitely meant to be. You can help others, but you can't help yourself. How can I help others? I feel like people come to you with their stress, with their worries, with their toxicity. They drain you of your good energy, and they leave you with their negativity. Right. And you you often help others. You help friends, family, whomever. But when you need something, you don't like to ask anyone for anything in return. So you do see that I'm spiritual too? Yes. You have three spiritual gifts that aren't fully enhanced yet. And one they? of them is helping people. You do connect with people well, and you do help people. You said that three things that are not advanced yet? Like There's what? three gifts, yes. You have three <clears throat> spiritual gifts that aren't enhanced yet. There is something formed around you, and it's blocking you and preventing you from reaching your full potential. And it is delaying you and redirecting you through life. So this is why you're going through what you're going through with a delay because there's something that is derailing your path and you're not able to reach your true potential, your true goal, your true calling, your true goals. Do you see what some do you see what it is? Sort of heaviness. <clears throat> do you see there what my true sort of calling heaviness. is? Well, I feel like, again, with the career path that you're trying to choose but wanting to pass the bar, again, that would be to help people. Okay. So that's a part of the plan here. But I feel like there's a lot of different energies that are interfering in your success. I feel like there is three different, it's three different sources that it's stemming from. Some of it is from your own personal past. And the other two directions that I see is a lot of family generational stuff, a lot of childhood stuff. There's been a lot of trauma through your life. And I feel through your childhood, there's been a lot of issues since the age of five years old. It seems like you started off life very early to lead out and make your own decisions. And it seems here like you were always a giver, not a taker. And that is where you have collected so much energy. You've collected burdens and problems because you are a collector. You're an absorber. And you have become a magnet to all of this. So it has affected your energy without even realizing the full advance what it has done. <clears throat> right. So right now your third eye isn't fully open. How much do you know about your aura and your chakras? Honestly, not that much. I'm kind of like scared with to dabble with that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. And have you gotten a reading before? Um, the only time I got a reading was a long time ago. My aunt, she used to read 
tea leaves, which yeah. And so she basically just told me that this was when I was back in high school, like years and yeah. years ago. Okay. And she was just like, you know, you need to choose a path because at that time, like, I I wasn't really sure. I mean, being in high school, you're young, you're not sure what you want to do. Of course, yeah. And at that like at that time I was like oh I want to be an actress I want to do this I want to do that and she was like well I don't see you being an actress you can if you want to she's like but there's another career path for you okay. and I didn't understand what that meant until you know I got older and I decided right. like going into law is my passion and that's what I want to do uh -huh. and so uh -huh. you know that was like the only time like anybody's ever said anything like that but then again you know back in the day too I, I, I wasn't really like serious about it so I didn't really think like too much you know right 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 it didn't stay with you till life started happening and things started forming for you right I just I'm just concerned with the delays because there's been several delays for you it's like I said every time you reach a certain level and you get to a certain point and you begin to think and feel that it's going to grow and progress it actually reverses and slows down for you so there is something delaying you and redirecting you so that area needs to be cleared and corrected so you to be cleansed you do need to be balanced and centered and there's nothing you know wrong with that it's just about cleansing your energy cleansing your aura and allowing yourself to move forward to catch up with lost time because you have been delayed the past three to five years okay and there's opportunities coming there's decisions that need to be made and you need to have that clear open mind you need to have that peace of mind to move forward like you know how you said that there's Three, what did you say? Three spiritual there's, doors that are closed right, or they're three, not open? Can well, you tell me what they from are? three places. Huh? It's stemming from three different places. So we'd have to do an analyzation to get to the root, to the source of that, to find out. Because right now it seems like you're on this emotional roller coaster. And it's a big broken puzzle with a lot of missing pieces. Okay. So what I would want to do is tap into your energy, tap into your spirit guides, get to the root, to the source of what's going on, and work on clearing you and healing you and releasing you from all of this. Because your life has been an obstacle course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's been a lot of different people that have come in and out of your life that was very, very negative ill intentions towards you and you found out on some of them a little late there's been people that talk well in front of your face but very jealous dishonest opinionated judgmental behind your back so you need to keep your business and your plans more to yourself don't confide in trust don't overshare right okay um, my concern with you is that you have become a sponge you have become this collector and you've been collecting good and bad energy over the years but ultimately you've been collecting burdens and problems yeah i mean i do take a lot of responsibility for a lot of things like i, I carry a heavy load on my shoulder yes there's lots of heaviness upon you and you have been having trouble sleeping too you've been tossing and turning and waking up around 2 3 a.m actually i don't even sleep at night yeah so it's like someone opens someone opened pandora's box and dig and shut it so how can i fix that so that's where i would want to tap into your energy tap into your spirit guides to get to the root to the source of everything i would want to put a spiritual package together for you and send it to you or meet with you whenever i have time my schedule is so 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 crazy right now um uh, but I would get a spiritual package to you and we would do guided meditation together, guided manifesting together, learning you the laws of attraction, learning you the spiritual path and growth that you need to be on. You just need to honor the journey, trust the process, and again, come in with an open mind, manifest the negative out and the positive in. And I will help you and teach you through all of that. Like you it do, do you do mentoring classes? Space do you do mentoring right now classes? Where you sleep? I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, no, I was just going off of what you're saying right now. Like, does that mean like you do mentoring classes? It's something like that, but more on a spiritual level. Like teaching how to cleanse and correct everything else you just said. Correct. Okay. 
But your personal space right now, I'm feeling a lot of clutter. I'm feeling that you need to change where you're sleeping, even if you move it a few inches. You need to clean under your bed. You need to declutter it. You need to make sure there's no shoes under your bed. No, I can't have anything under my bed, to be honest, because my Good. dog likes to go under it. So my bed is actually Good. pretty clean. Okay. Well, just make sure that there's nothing around. Around and under? Correct. Okay. And like I said, even if you don't have a lot of space and if you move things around a few inches, you need to shift the energy. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to further analyze everything and I want to work with your name and your date of birth further and see how much deeper I can go in finding out more information for you. Because right now, just through the reading, like I said, it's a big broken puzzle. There's a lot of missing pieces. And I feel that love and relationships have also been difficult for you. When you love, you love 110%, but you don't get the same in return. Okay. I mean, I've been married for three years now. Well, it's not just about romantic love. It's about love in general. It's like love from your childhood. It's just loving. You're always giving 110%, but you're not getting the same in return. Okay. that's, a, that's a, I'm glad you asked me about the love part because I do have some questions if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, as far as my love life, love life goes, um, it's funny you mention that because my husband, he's a truck driver and he's okay. gone like a week at a time, sometimes right, two, right. three weeks and like, mm -hmm. I hate that. That's like, <laughs> I'm trying to like right, tell him to get another job. Schedules. Uh -huh. Yeah, but like the money is really good. So he, he's not budging right now. He's like, oh, right, we just, right. you know, we just got married and this and that. Uh, and I want to have kids too. So that's like another issue right there. But my main thing is, I don't know if it's my insecurities or because he's gone for like so long at a time. Like my thing is like, do you see like, does he hook up with other women? When I mean, I, I'm just directly at, you know, this is my thoughts that it just bothers no, me. No, I like, do feel that a lot of it comes from your insecurity, but most of it comes from this negative energy. So he, so he doesn't, so he doesn't cheat on me? He like doesn't cheat like, on me? affecting you no i don't see that okay that's good yeah that's like the last thing i need right now exactly and again that's the negativity that's trying to overpower your thoughts and it's it you know you think the worst but you try to hope for the best right i see that so let me work a little further a little deeper on all of this are you going to be available in about 30 minutes um yeah i should be but I wasn't done with the questions. Or is that how long the reading the readings for? No, there's no set time. Limit. What is the question? It's just I wanted to go deeper into what I was feeling. But go ahead. Oh, uh, okay. So that that was another thing too. Like, do you see any kids in my future? You are meant to have children, but I feel like it's not the right time. So you will have them. You're meant to have them, but right now isn't the right time. Not this year. I mean, besides having my four babies, like, I want to have kids of my own, you know what I mean? Right, of course, Do you yes, know when the not, time will be? I, I know for sure not this year, but it does show that you will have children, but not this year. Okay. And then also, so when I was 16, like, you were right, something did happen when I was younger. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and I lost my dad when I was 16. He was on his way home from work and got into an accident. Wow. And I heard, like, they, he didn't even make it to the hospital. Anyways, uh -huh. I keep feeling, like, I don't know, maybe it's, like, just wishful thinking. You know what I mean? Because, I like, I miss him every day. And, I, like, I talk to him, so I don't know if, like, he can hear me or of how that course, works. Of course, of course. But, like, course. I want to know, He's... like, does he visit me, like, at times when I talk yes, to him? Yes, he is around you from time to time. Not all the time, but from time to time, he is around you. And there's actually going to be some dreams that you will be having that will help bring you some messages and some closure. Okay. Um, I don't have dreams about him, but I do have dreams about, I had a best friend named Sam and uh -huh. last year, see, this is what I want to know is like, do I have like a, I don't know, like a family curse, a generational curse? Cause someone told me to like, you know, get a reading a long time ago to ask, but I never did. It feels like people, like everyone, like I get close to, like really close to and care about, like they just, they, they're gone. Like they're not in my life for too long. Like. 
I had a best friend right. that I grew well, up with. Right, well, that's kind of what came up. That's what kind of what came up earlier in the reading. Like, every time you get close to happiness, it gets taken away. Yeah. And, like, it's, like, freak accidents, too. Like, boating accident last year. My my best friend, like, I grew up with, um, mm -hmm. went on vacation with her family. Next thing you know, I'm getting a phone call afterwards, like, oh, she died. Like, the boat capsized and she drowned. And I was like, what the hell is going on? So then after that, I kept having, like, reoccurring dreams that I was like at the shore where she, and I've never been there before, so like how would right. I know, you know? Right, Like right. I'm swimming to her, like to save her, and then like halfway into the water, like in a lake or whatever, like I just, I keep waking up. Like I'm never, like I can't reach her. Is that like right. some kind of a message? Like she's trying to reach of, out of to me? Of course it's a message, of course it is. <laughs> and it's also a part of your gift. Because like you just said, how would you know where she is and where it happened? And that's, again, part of your gift. You have a lot of different senses, and you have a lot of spirituality to you that needs to be enhanced. And like I said, your third eye needs to be opened. Okay. Because you, your gifts aren't fully, they're not fully open right now. Right. Do you, um, can you look into, like, animal spirits, too? Yes, if it shows up, of course. That's why I told you I will tell you everything I see, everything I feel. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to write down your name, and I'm going to work on this a little further, and I will definitely reach back out to you in 30 minutes. Okay, and then um, my last question is, I have, we had a family parrot that was like my dad's, I used to be jealous because like, that was like my dad's first child. <laughs> Not first okay. child, but like favorite right. child, it you was, know? It was something he, yeah. Something yeah, so, to. so shortly, which is the weird part too, shortly after um, he passed away, the parrot died. And I want to know, like, was it like heartbroken? Because, like, we didn't do anything wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was just how, weird. How close, how close in time? Approximate. Like, less, maybe like five, six months, if that. So the same year? The same year, yeah, within like a few months. And until today, like my mom's blaming herself, like, um, did I do something wrong? Did I do, and I was like, no, we didn't do it. None of us did anything well, wrong. No, 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 yeah, I don't feel that. But I do feel, I do feel that after he left, after he was gone, the parent was never the same. Didn't act the same, didn't, you know, interact the same. Like a part of him, was take you know it was like wow this is so sad the words don't even want to come out so basically when he left it was like a part of her left and then shortly after it resulted in her dying so like heartbreak exactly oh wow for, for, that's what you would call it for a human you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah so did you just wake up one day and she was dead in the cage? My mom actually found her and oh, she sad. came and yeah, she came and got me and oh, she sad. was like she she was so traumatized like she didn't even want to like take her was. out. Yeah, how not? Of course, of course. Dad, I'm sorry. He's really going to hate me now. I'm sorry, Dad. I had to kill you off again for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. The fake psychics. My dad is not dead. I never had a parrot. So you guys heard. I never had a parrot. When she said that my dad's spirit is with me at all times and my parrot passed away of a heartbreak, I think she knew that I knew that she was full of shit and she wanted to get off the phone. Supposedly she's going to call me in 30 minutes. I can't wait to see what she has to say. But that's not what you normally do when you do a reading like when I do readings on people I don't tell them let me look into this and I'll call you back no I'll stay on the phone with you for an entire hour if I have to to get to the bottom of what's going on and I don't use tarot cards I connect to people's energy naturally as far as having kids she said I'm not gonna have any kids at least not within this year well guess what you guys I have a bombshell I'm gonna drop on your asses those who are new to my channel and new to my social media I have three kids just letting you guys know so that's another bullshit as far 
far as my psychic abilities, she said my third eye is closed. Well, if it was closed, then how do I do readings? Because I do mentoring classes for clients every week. You guys have seen my readings I do all the time. My accurate readings, because I don't use the bullshit tarot cards. I contact you and connect to your energy and do a natural reading like that. And she said three of my doors are closed, but she couldn't tell me. She kept avoiding the question when I kept asking her, what three doors are you talking about? Go back and listen. As far as my friend goes, I never had a close friend that died in a boating accident. That was another bullshit I told her. But if she's real, this is my point though. If she's real, and no, I don't have a family generational curse either. But if she's real, she would have picked up on all that stuff and she would have called me out on it. Because let me tell you this much. I'm not saying do it, because if you do it, you're gonna end up getting fucked over by me. Let's make that clear. And I've had somebody who did try to test me and test my abilities. And they started asking questions, but I knew it was bullshit questions. And I can pick up who's very sincere and who's real and whose questions are real and who's trying to play games with me. So they started asking me these weird questions. My response to them was, you signed a contract, my prices are on my website and it also states there's no money back. This was like within the first maybe two, three minutes into the reading. I said, you're trying to bullshit me, you're trying to test me, you don't have this, you don't have that. So I, I straight called her out on her bullshit questions and I told her don't fucking lie to me and uh, that I'm dropping her as a client and there's no refund so don't fucking play games and if this bitch was real she would have said the same exact I was waiting for her to cuss me out I was waiting for her to tell me no 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 your dad is still alive you never had a parrot you don't have a friend that got into a boating accident in fact she would have picked up on my energy and told me that oh no you're a hundred percent real psychic medium that all oh, your spiritual doors are open including especially your third eye I hope you guys learn a good lesson as far as spiritual goes on who to trust and who not to trust all these fake tarot card readers I'm telling you right now they're full of shit if you guys want to stick around actually join my members right now on my channel click on the join button become a member right now I don't want to expose too much on the channel where everybody could see because I don't want to get my video taken down by YouTube which they're not going to but still when she calls back I'm gonna record what she has to say and I'm going to record confronting her and the funny thing is, I'm going to tell you this much. The date of birth that I gave her, the reason why I posted it publicly and you guys heard that crystal clear, that's not my date of birth. I was not born on August 13, 1986. Okay, before the reading, she told me to text her a picture of me, my full name, and my date of birth. The only thing that I gave real was my full name. I texted her a picture of someone else, of course with their consent, and a made up date of birth. And she's going off of that right now. Supposedly, she's looking into it and she did look into it she had a good at least 25 30 minutes to look into stuff before she called me for the reading and this is what she told me so I am using my money out of my pocket to make videos like this for you guys so you guys can see the difference between my readings which is the natural readings when I connect to your energy I don't own a deck of cards I don't own a deck of psychic cards this is just showing you guys how bullshit these tarot card readers are if you guys want to see the confrontation where I'm going to confront her in everything and I'm going to let her know that I am a real psychic medium that my dad didn't die I never had a parrot because I noticed that the more intense my questions got the more quickly she wanted to get off the phone with me she wants me to take her classes so she can open up my third eye which is fucking hilarious she might call me back I mean people like that are desperate for many but then again we'll see what happens don't fall for these tarot card readers okay I'm gonna be doing a lot more exposing a lot more confronting because it's a scam you guys might as well wipe your asses with that money or burn it I'm doing it to help you guys realize how fake tarot cards are. I hate liars. That's why I'm exposing them and keeping you guys from getting scammed. If you guys want a real reading, I've done so many of these videos. Go back on my channel and watch them. If you guys want a real reading, contact me at monicaspiritqueen.com. Be sure to include your name and phone number. I'm not like these bimbos. I don't have time to waste. I don't. I don't play games. If you don't answer, then I'm moving on to the next one. I don't have time to waste. I only take serious inquiries only.
have this dark energy and this is something that's been with you. Here's the thing, Sarah. That's not me in the photo. I'm actually a real psychic medium and I expose the fake ones. Uh -huh. So you're being exposed right now. And your name isn't Sarah. No one's scamming you, dear. You are scamming me, yeah. Exactly. That's not my date of birth and you just told me that you're doing a reading through that information. So how is that not a scam, Sarah?